dear friends today we are going to see normal distribution so the distributions are classified into discrete as well as continuous in our previous video we see what are all the discrete distributions we have seen binomial we have seen poisson and then geometric distribution so now in the case of continuous distributions we are going to learn normal distribution exponential distribution uniform distribution etc so today our concern is on normal distribution so let us see what is normal distribution and what how it occurs and where is the origin so normal distribution is the limiting form of the binomial distribution so people say normal distribution is also known as gaussian distribution because it was invented by gauss but uh, the roots are very deep okay uh, at the end of 17th century a de mauri a mathematician as well as a gambler who think about the normal curve what do you think suppose you toss two coins then the probability is going to be uniform 50 50 right probability of getting an head and tail is 50 50 now if you increase two coins what will happen is going to be 1 by 4 1 by 4 and 2 by 4 similarly three coins when you go for four coins five coins six coins so what we are observing uh, it is not uniform it is moving like something like this okay so when the number of coins are getting larger and larger and larger de mauri observed that it follows a pattern okay it follows a normal curve a smooth curve a bell shaped curve okay so you can see now this is the example for 10 30 so the curve look like this when it goes 50 similar and he observed it follows a pattern but the problem is he cannot able to formulate the theoretical idea he cannot able to give a proper formulation for it and in the later in 18th century the great mathematician gauss have given the clear idea about what is gaussian distribution and the formulation etc so it was called as either gaussian distribution and normal distribution let us see what are the conditions when it works first of all the random variable should be continuous that is obvious because it is continuous distribution now as we said the number of trials n is going very very large it almost goes to infinity then second one here in poisson do we remember the success would be very very low but in the case of normal distribution neither p or q should be very small they should be fairly equal so might be 50 50 or they are very close to 50 50 okay if this condition holds then i can define what normal distribution so now the parameters of normal distribution is mu and sigma square as usual binomial distribution do you remember n and p are parameters for poisson lambda is parameter now for normal distribution the parameters are what mean and variance that is mu and sigma square guys and this is the formula for normal distribution okay and we note it like this so x varies from minus infinity to infinity and my standard deviation cannot be zero and it can't be negative also it's going to be greater than zero and gauss was a saint i say because he knows that future students will not do integration because <laughs> integrating this function f of x is very tough because e power ax integration i can say it as what e power ax by a 
but now in this problem we have e power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma all square etc it's very tough so Gauss was a great mathematician who found a solution to solve the problem without doing integration now let us see the properties how the normal distribution look just now we say it is a bell shaped curve okay you can easily see here it is a bell shaped curve and then it is symmetric about this line okay it is going to be symmetric about the midline the midline is called as what the midline is called as x equal to mu okay so i can split this into what two equal of you can see here this is one half and the other half is on the right side now i can see both are what equal so it is symmetric about the line x equal to mu guys okay so these are all some mcqs the point of inflection is going to be mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma and you see the curve approaches the horizontal axis asymptotically on the either side of the x equal to mu and this point is very obvious we say total probability is 1 so the area of this normal curve is always going to be 1 and the other thing since it is symmetric about the mean I can say this area is 0 0.5 and this area is 0 0.5 and the total area is 1 done now in normal distribution mean median mode all are coincide so they can ask mean they can ask median they can ask mode all are same it is simply what x equal to mu guys now you can see in the normal distribution when you draw like only one point will have the peak value okay that is x equal to mu so it has a single peak so it has a unimodal distribution but in the case of binomial or poison it is different okay these are all some mcqs properties now since x equal to mu is the maximum value right when i substitute in the formula what we seen in the previous slides when x equal to mu it will become what it become e power 0 so e power 0 become 1 and we'll be getting what the maximum value for normal distribution we should be very careful normal distribution because a similar kind of things we are going to see in the next topic now so the maximum value of normal distribution is 1 by sigma into square root of 2 pi done guys okay now as i said gauss found a trick he want to solve the problem without doing any integration so he introduced a concept called standard normal variate in standard normal variate because we know the normal distribution is what mu and sigma square when it is a standard normal variate now my n will become 0 and 1 that means my mean is 0 and my standard deviation is 1 okay good so now how he convert the problem to solve in a simple way so now he is assuming z is equal to x minus mu by sigma this is what the assumptions he take okay to convert the problem and to solve in terms of z with the use of normal distribution table guys okay done now the standard normal distribution whenever people say it is standard normal distribution now you can see i am going to use e z okay i am going to use e z and i say that what sigma is 1 and then mu is 0 so when i apply here what i would get i'd get the function 1 by square root of 2 pi e power minus z square by 2 okay the same thing when you put the maximum value x equal to mu then my z will become 
what? 0. So z equal to now I can convert the problem as what? z equal to 0. Instead of x equal to mu, I can write this the same as what? I can write this as z equal to 0. So it has this single peak point. Okay. So now for standard normal distribution, the maximum value at times when z equal to 0, when you put z equal to 0, e power 0 is 1. So it is going to be 1 by square root of 2 pi, where z lies between minus infinity to infinity, guys. Okay. So the other name for standard normal distributions are unit normal distribution and is it distribution?